Go ahead. To be honest, I don't think I've ever felt that that's something that severe. Yeah. Mercy, I'm so sorry. Basically, the worst thing is my neck. Okay. It's tight. I strained it probably about 16, 17, 20 now. Okay. And uh, I was working out one time. Or I don't know, like, I do a lot of stupid stuff. So I've, like, crashed on snowboards and stuff like that. Okay. So I could have jarred something, uh -huh. not really known it, and then went to work out a few days later. Gotcha. And I was squatting, uh -huh. and I was in the pocket, you know, I was pushing out, and it was probably too much weight or whatever, gotcha. and I just strained as hard as I could, uh -huh. and it totally seized, shooting headache. I've had headaches, so though, forever, mm -hmm. since I was like eight years old. I've been okay. dealing with headaches, all those things, and then my shoulders have always been real tight, okay. and, you know, just back pain and stuff. When you felt that, did anything go down the arms, or just stay in the neck? Just neck. Okay. And I still get it, though, like, I got it, I was lifting too much weight. Okay. And did it again for two weeks ago. Twenty years old. It's that's the joints. You, yeah. Uh, the, the when you when your chin is down, the joints are destabilized. So you, from injuries and what we call avoidance, the position of your head, the alignment of your neck allows certain injuries to happen. So we've had previous injuries. The head heals in avoidance. Mm -hmm. Then you go try to do something stressful in a compromised position. Yeah. It becomes easy to hurt yourself. Yeah. Go over some of these other things here: back pain, shoulder, hip. Give me give me some information. I played tennis from three to sixteen. That's okay. why I live here. Okay. So my shoulders and stuff from that just got one finger. Where's the most discomfort? Would you say? Right now, I have this one pain wherever I breathe or anything. It feels like something needs to be popped right back in. You know? How about how loud? Right there. Right next to the shoulder blade. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Right okay. in there. All right, rib heads. Okay. And then I've always had just tension and tightness and all these shoulders. My shoulder, like, put your hand. Yeah, in. I feel it. Yeah. Both of them. Whoa. So what that is, oh my oh, gosh. yeah, okay. both of them. Go ahead. To be honest, I don't think I've ever felt that, that something that severe. Yeah. Do you, when, when, both do you of them. when can you recollect that starting? I mean, eight, nine. You felt that for a while. Seven, eight, nine. The repetitiveness of it makes it tendons. Those are mm -hmm. tendons that are, you either have the muscles so tight and you got these guitar string tendons and then you're moving your scapula and it's grinding over all those. Okay. A lot of that has to do with the position. The more forward your shoulders are, mm -hmm. the more those cables are held taut. Open up. Posturally, we can work on getting your body back and those are all directly, they're all connected. The head goes forward, um, that puts stress on your lower neck. When yeah. your lower neck's in stress, the nerves start getting upset and your shoulders round forward to avoid. The shoulders rounding forward makes all this get all tight and then it makes it all yeah. crunch. So to rewind this VHS, we have to bring the shoulders back, bring the head back, get the chest in. These are postural yeah. distortions that need to be corrected. In order to do that, being 20, we're 26 is full skeletal maturity. So we're at a good opportunity here to quickly be able to change you versus waiting till 40 and yeah. being very difficult. Mm -hmm. Is it nothing in the lower back? The lower back has just always been like sore and kind of pain. Okay. Uh, I don't have like a specific injury or anything like okay. that to describe. Uh, I did screw up both my, I didn't write that down, my hips. I was uh, squatting again. I was an idiot. I was like 16. I would drop into the pocket. Got it. And one time I did it with two plates and I did like 10 reps. And then I dropped and one cracked. I went up, I did two more, the other one cracked. So both of my, my sacrum got out of line because I went to another chiropractor. He told me he put it my sacrum back in or something like that. That's what he Maybe. said. Maybe, yeah, I don't you know. know. I, I, it could I be. did crack them and All now right. like there was the other day, I was just sitting in a chair like this and I popped. Like you I could feel the hip feel socket, the hip socket. Popped. Not always, mm -hmm. but it just like it was getting out or whatever and then I popped it in. We're going to, I'd be curious, come down here for a second. I just want to need to work on getting those knees. Does that make sense? Yeah. How, how difficult? Is that not fun? I mean, I can push on, like I can right. take it. But not, not, it's not, it ain't going any farther than this. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to work on. So what happens is the more, if you can't get your knees, I mean, you could stand on my legs yeah. right now. You're saying there's no, and there's no, and there's no pain. Yeah. What it means is that the hips are rotated anteriorly. If they're hips okay. rotated anteriorly, you're going to be pivoting your femoral head on a lip 
what we call the it labrum. Feel right, right. And there's not as much cartilage there. Yeah. We want the femoral head in the center of its socket. Mm -hmm. In order for that to happen, this has to be able to open up. Okay. This is the simplest way to address it. So I would sort of work with the spine. I'm going to show you, again, almost two birds, maybe three birds with one stone. We're going to get your back, shoulders, and hips with one stretch. We're going to do it all okay. together. But just giving you a preview, I need the knees on the ground. Okay. And then we talk. And I got my knees on the ground, this piece of crank. I still got hip pain. Then we we'll have that okay. conversation when that happens. But I want I want this mastered first. Okay. It needs to be a joke. All right. You know, and they do it in yoga. You come up starting pose. Maybe you know, this is this is why this is in yoga. They do it this way. My knees are supposed to be in line from the side. Do you see that? Yeah. You shouldn't be. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. This is an incorrect. <laughs> so wanna, this needs to be so, back. Right. Right. Yeah. So you're almost like you're hitchhiking. Grab your. So would be that be the, if you're using yeah, if you're doing, okay. if you're left leg it would be like you're hitchhiking you grab the palm mm -hmm. and you want to get the knee yeah yeah See, you got to you got to get that yeah. knee straight down and back they do like the, maybe the hand but the the idea is you got to get those you got to be able to open up the front what that okay. means if you can't it's, if the hip is too far anteriorly rotated you understand mm -hmm. it's like this it's supposed to be back here got it. and that's going to cause when you did a squat, that obviously rotates your hips anteriorly. You, it's hard. We don't, we don't have the best imaging to show. Even MRI is like a blurry VHS. Yeah. You know, we don't have high detail images where we can see. Well, there's your cartilage tear when you did that deep squat. Mm -hmm. The femoral head, you know, t took a chunk or yeah. damaged or inflamed some part of the cartilage in there. Over time, the bone will grow. You get a bone spur in there. You get frozen yeah. hips. After that, I couldn't squat with any weight past like there right. without pain, like extreme right. pain. So that you couldn't, you can't. When you yeah. when you squat, that hip's got to be able to access that territory, yeah. and it it's damaged, and yeah. your body's like, no, sorry, I can't yeah. go over there. If you do a squat, the main if I was getting any any take home of the squat is that you're not. The worst thing people do is they stop at the chair. Yeah. That's the word. It's like the most grinding on the. You need to go into like almost like you're going to the bathroom. Yeah, the pocket. <laughs> right, and then you come up. Yeah. When you fully compress, that allows some lubrication to get into yeah. the knee. You don't want to stop. <laughs> yeah. So your body's at like positive two, let's say, right? Okay. To ask for zero is not enough. Your body will just want to be at one. We have to ask, right? We have to ask for farther back to make zero. The joints in your spine have a lot of feeling, and so as I bring you back. Ah, ah, there, there's monsters I call them or joint injuries with skiing injury whatever and that's what we're gonna run into the knuckles on your spine have a lot of feeling the discs on the front have no feeling and this is why people age going forward and I don't make a lot of friends <laughs> the first five visits because I'm making you go into areas that Ed I had an injury five years ago what are you doing that area has to stop complaining I can't let you heal in avoidance you're fine until 40, and then Tiger Woods will call you up and go, yeah, you want me to yeah. <laughs> welcome back surgeryville yeah. because we heal in avoidance. So we need to get you to body to heal upright. Right. Deep breath in. Head back for me. Let all the air out. Deep breath in. Head back. Let it all go. Deep breath in. Head back. Exhale. All right, stay there. Yeah. So the goal of this adjustment is to not adjust your lower back. It is unfortunate, and, and it's I know when someone gets side postured, I don't know, he laid me on my side and I got twisted. It's hard for the patient to understand what's happening. But if I can try to explain it a little bit, you don't want the knee up real high. Okay. When they do this, there's supposed to be a curve in your lower back. We call okay. that the lordosis. So when I bring my knee up, this becomes straight. So it's unfortunate to try to adjust somebody in a... So when I do this, I want the lower back arched, yeah. okay. allowing some sway in your back. That curve is pretty much the reason why I'm here, is to help aim your spine towards the right alignment. If you're in the right alignment, the ability to hurt yourself becomes harder. Okay. The goal is to not adjust the lower back. People go, why are you contacting down here in the SI joint, or in the, in the glute area? It's because we're trying to adjust the sacroiliac joint, which runs from about here to here. So we're contacting with the hamate on the SI joint the posterior superior iliac spine and we're adjusting this joint trying to not adjust here and then I'm gonna adjust your middle back also around what is the most commonly surgically activated area of the lower back deep breath in and exhale I got you a little stiff yeah 
Get the idea, right? Yeah. That's your middle back up here. Yeah. Breathe in deep. Exhale. That's good. A little tight there. That's okay. Let's have one. Yep. Nice. Okay, you do it. Uh, exhale. Nice. Face up for me. You got a right atlas. Pretty large. Feel this right here? Uh -huh. Right? I can't even feel. Where is it? I can't even feel your left atlas. You understand? Okay. This is muscle right yeah. here. I can't even feel the bone. You get the idea? That is bone right there. I have no... Your bone is so off. To, so your head tilts to the left. You favor left head tilt. This would be the exaggeration. Does that make sense? You see your, yeah. So you're in what yeah. we call left head tilt. So bones all stick out to the right. On my right side and my left side. Nothing. I can't even feel the bones on the left because right. it's so sunken in because the bone is shifted over to the right. What that means is long term, lay it back. It means long term that your left lower neck, uh -huh. left shoulder blade is uh -huh. under extra stress. At 20, it, you're not gonna feel disc injury. That's why I asked about yeah. the arm. I asked yeah. basically, is there anything going on your arm? Well, that would be indicate, indicatory of a disc injury. I'm not saying you don't have the beginnings of a disc injury. Probably with a seated MRI, we might be able to see it, but until the disc hits the nerve, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Nobody really cares. All that you're describing to me is joint, you understand? Yeah. And, and the joints have more feeling, and, and if the joint's upset, it's very likely that the discs are upset. Okay. But the bis because the discs don't have a voice, no one really cares until 10 to 15 years after a disc's been injured, then it finally talks. I got you, one second, here we go. Mm -hmm. There you go, one second, there we go. Gotta get this upper neck moving a little better. Mm -hmm. Let me have the head. There we go. Chin up. There you go. Very good. How that feel? You all right? Great. Yeah. Good. Great. This is the curve that your neck belongs in. And okay. so everything I do, and then we're going to talk at the end about stretching your neck. There's a piece of foam called a denaril, which emulates my hands and holds you in this arched position. Okay. The, like I was saying earlier, if your neck was arched, the ability to hurt ourselves becomes a lot harder because when there's an arch in your neck, the weight is more evenly distributed over all the parts mm -hmm. of your spine. When I ever I do anything like strenuous, like crazy strain, like not deadlifting, but deadlifting a lot of weight for a lot of reps, mm -hmm. then it just goes, or if I'm like, you know, I work at liquor store, so I'll be uh, yeah. boxes sure. and stuff like that. Sure. Sometimes if I'm doing that or I'm holding something for a long period of time or holding something above my head, it'll like seize and then it'll <laughs> be like horrible pain on right. the headache. So what's happening is move. the stability of your neck comes from the alignment. When your neck is in the wrong alignment, the joints are destabilized. Mm -hmm. When the joints are destabilized, they swell. Mm -hmm. When there's swelling of the joint, the ligament stretches and actually starts to get sprained or torn. Mm -hmm. When the muscles detect that the joint's in trouble, the muscles go into spasms. Okay? The muscles are tight because of the joint ligament postural mechanical instability, okay. areas that are overworked. Mm -hmm. What has to happen is your body needs to be in the right alignment, and that's where it wants to be. Not by forcing it. Right? Mm -hmm. You hold yourself upright and you contract your muscles to pull yourself into the right alignment. Again, I just, I don't see that's, so you're supposed to be con constantly conscious of where you are. Does that make sense? I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to that. You need good alignment and that's where you want to be. That's why I had with you when you were standing. I said, show me center, right? Show me where you want to be. And where you want to be is incorrect. I was just reading about it. It said like beta blockers. I had taken a few mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Those help because they like dilate the blood vessels. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or those like. Not necessarily what you want, right? Mm, like a lot of side pain. effects, yeah. They affect your heart and, and blood pressure. And again, you're, you're, you're treating the wrong, yeah. you're aiming at the wrong thing. We need to work on your posture. Yeah. And that is exactly the problem with my care is it doesn't fit into a bottle. Yeah. You understand? Everybody wants to try to it's doll out a treatment that no. can, well, a beta blocker can fit well, into a bottle. I knew that, that wasn't right. the fix for it. I just knew that that's the only thing that actually, sure. without taking a sure. opiate or something crazy, that I wouldn't right. feel no. So there's a little comb with a smooth edge. It's a way to help speed up the process of getting the soreness out of your neck. They've done it for a thousand years, and Americans have just caught on to it in the last 40. It's unfortunate, but 
I see all these swimmers in the Olympics that have these cupping marks all over them. Yeah. Like, you're getting there. We're getting there, everybody. We're getting there. Soon they'll be gua shaing, and then everybody will go, Ed, you've been doing this for decades. It's about time. <laughs> right there, he's got some tension right there. Real quick, I'm going pretty gentle here, right? <laughs> Not going that hard. This is what you're feeling. This is the inflammation in the lower neck, middle neck joints. You want to get all that soreness out of there. It's what's being guarded. You understand? Yeah. We, the reason how you stop guarding is you get rid of the injury that needs to be guarded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once there's nothing to be guarded, nothing will be. <laughs> The injured area can only be uh, relieved by diverting stress off of it to other areas so that the area can heal. You can't heal a sprained ankle if you keep running on it. Yeah. You have to stop the stress that's causing the continual damage first. Cables are non-functional. They're just they right have a turkey leg, right? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody eats the turkey. Nobody yeah. eats the tendons. They're they're just steel cables. And when you're moving your shoulder around, mm -hmm. all those cables are rubbing over the ribs or bones. And is that what it means when your back's kind of like they call them back abs and stuff like that? Like it's just super yeah, tight and right. rounded up. You got it. Gotcha. It's, but it's the more forward you are, the more yeah. these are constantly contracted. Gotcha. The posture determines the stress. Will that It'll reduce the as the tension back here comes down. Okay. If, if this wasn't all tense, and the tension's postural and or injury, you understand? Yeah. And I believe a lot of this to be injury because even laying down, I've taken posture out of the equation, it's still tight. Oh, man. It's just swollen. No wonder it's killing you. By 40, this would all be frozen. You'd have, no, you'd have no mobility if you let this sit here in a couple more decades. So sorry. Discomfort comes from mm -hmm. this being locked in here, and then just imbalances in the mechanics of his lumbar region. He's got a really tight diaphragm, trap, quadratus lumborum area in here. We got to release your lats that come in here and attach a lot of high target muscles that all contract in here. And so this area gets stiff, and then above and below, overstress. here, you know. 
This hole has to lengthen to allow his shoulder to come back. Finding my back's always been my strongest, like out of all my lifts and everything, my back is the uh -huh. best for that reason. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's so tight. It's strong. Yeah. No one could nobody ever should tell you tell you that your core's weak. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of hair on his back. Yeah, there's a mark here. Let me see your shoulder, you see oh, that? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's legit, man. Gotta get all that out of there. Pec is more domineering muscle in your upper back compared to your rhomboids mm -hmm. and the muscles in the back. So the pec usually wins the tug of war. Mm -hmm. So the shoulders rotate anteriorly along with nerve pressure avoidance that the shoulder rounding forward provides. Gotcha. So we have two kind of reasons why we have to sort of poke holes in the pec and weaken it a little bit and allow this to stretch. I used to overstuff the cups in the cupboard and then my sister would go to open up the cupboard and the cups would fall out and hit her in the head yeah you know and I couldn't get yelled at because you know right back you over mom Ed overstuffed the cups in the cupboard like gravity hit through it at your head you know yeah. you gotta check that door man you know, just the weight of the door was enough to hold the cups from and I'm talking glass cups it wasn't dangerous nice good turvis tumbler to the head you know they all come toddling out she'd be like you know Okay. I'd be hiding underneath the table far away. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, mm -hmm. She was so predictable. You know. <laughs> this is dark for this time. Yeah, yeah. She'd come down, get her muffin, watch the Little House on the Prairie. Uh huh. Here she comes, 9 15. Uh huh. <laughs> Do you have siblings? Yeah, I got a little sister. Oh, that's right, your sister. Hopefully you're a better brother than he was. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Great brother. That's right. Hey, I was the younger one, okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had to I had to fend for myself. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yeah. There's a lot in there. You gotta be, we wanna at home you're when we're stretching. You're going to be working on getting these hands to the floor. Does that make sense? You want to work all yeah. of these angles when you're stretching. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, and you want to stretch those shoulders back, stretch those pecs. Right. You know, you want to get all of that. Yeah. All right, all that. It's just inflammation in there that needs to be cleaned out. And then we're going to stretch in a minute before we're going to open your chest up. All right, breathe in deep for me. Exhale. That is a torso. <laughs> that is a lot. It's going to take me some visits to chip away at all these boulders in here. I'm going to show you the first step in a minute. Nice. Straight for me. Here we go. One second. Then. Here we go. Tilt 
children. But yeah, how does that feel right there? I mean, pretty yeah. sore. I mean, that's too bad. Good, all right. I mean, I feel in the shoulders that you were working, like those knots. Yeah. You know, right in the blades. On the backside, yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to compress all those. Those all have yeah. to be just dig Work into out. them, dig them into Put the feet together, knees together, and then bring your knees le left. So bring your knees, yeah, rotate, yeah. Work that left side. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. you compress the left and stretch to the right, and then bring knees to the right. Now you compress the right and stretch the left. And you just let your head sink in. And it's just a way of emulating my thumb to hold that curve in your neck. This is what I would actually use as your main treatment for your neck right now, is actually okay. just compressing. So for the next week, I want you to, like, do this. just living on it. The way you get on and off of it is just, you just lay your head on it. To get off it, do not lift your head up off it. The way you get off is you take one hand passively, without engaging your neck muscles, lift your head up, take the device, and then lay the head back down, and then give yourself a minute. It's going to feel warm, tingling. The, d the difference between where your neck wants to be and where I want your neck to be is large. Lot, yeah. So as that comes into synchronicity, there won't be yeah. much difficulty, but we want to compress those joints. It does maybe temporarily make things a little bit more upset because you're not running away, right? Yeah. So you're confronting, but then when you get off of it and then live your life, you're like, oh, that, that feels so much better. You know, it's a, it's a more stable position. There'll be, won't, there, the, the reason why the spasms are happening is because your head doesn't have a curve in it. Yeah. So restoring your cervical lordosis is the word will take away that that tightness and spasms and the joint pain that's causing the muscles to spasm. I could do a little bit of right rotation. Does that make sense? Yeah. To work that right upper side. It just lean. Just be a little bit to the right. Okay. But for the most part, if in doubt, just keep your head straight. But you could go a little right to try to work because you like to do this. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I want right. I want to take you to. The opposite. the opposite, which would be back and to the right to okay. counter it. Um, that's like a one month prescription. I've had people where they do this and they leave and come back six months later, and that's we popped out on the other side. And I go, What did I tell you last time? So they're like, Well, you told me to tilt to my right. Okay, now you've overcorrected it the other way, and now we need to undo that. So it's a one month prescription. <laughs> if I don't see you where well, your head's going back and to the right, because you will, it's very powerful. It will shift everything over. You know, your head's going over it. It yep. makes sense, you press your head into it. If you're doing it and you start getting lower neck or shoulder pain getting worse, you have to technically get off and you can't do it. And that means you have to get back on the table and we have to adjust you again yeah. to make sure that the neck is bending evenly so that we can do this safely.